Y'all hate this corny with that Illuminati mess. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for staying true to the crew. On today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my Fave 5 for October 2020. If you're unfamiliar with the Fave 5 series, it's a monthly series that I do where I share five of my favorite things that I've purchased or been gifted over the last month. And I give you my honest reviews and I give you all the deets down in the description box if you wanna check out these items. So with no further ado, let's jump to my fave five for October 2020. My name is Lonnie and these are Lonnie's Lessons. Okay, so fave five number one is going to be the Trader Joe's Herbs de Provence Spice Blend. And when I tell you, I was so excited when I saw this at Trader Joe's. I was there recently, and I always love to buy spices from Trader Joe's. In the past, I've told you about the 21 Spice Salute. I've told you about the Mushroom Umami Seasoning. So I'm always looking for great and exciting new spices from Trader Joe's, because I think they do spices really well. So this is an aromatic blend of thyme, marjoram, savory, rosemary, basil, sage, and lavender. And I actually tried Herbs de Providence before and it is just like the best herb blend to have. It's really flavorful, but it just gives you a little bit of a different kick than you would get from just like say, uh, Italian blend or something like that. It's just the perfect thing to have in your pantry just to add depth of flavor and a really herby, vibrant, flavor to all of your recipes. And speaking of recipes, I have a whole blog that is dedicated to food. I have recipes for breakfast, lunch, dinner, drinks, and desserts. So just check out LonnieWisTheThird.com forward slash recipes and try something new this week. So I just wanted to put that in there in case you were looking for recipe inspiration. But the thing that I also really love about this Trader Joe's Herbs de Providence is that it comes in this glass jar with this uh, metal lid, which is really cool because that means that you can reuse this. And then it also comes with this adorable wooden spoon. So you can just, you know, portion out your spices and put it into your food. So I think this is definitely something that you should try if you are looking to kind of upgrade your spice and herb level in the kitchen. If you're a beginner or if you're someone who's been cooking forever, I think that this would be a great addition to your pantry. And speaking of spices, let's talk about organizing spices. I think that organizing spices inside your cabinet or your drawer can really be a game changer when it comes to you just feeling confident in the kitchen. So that's why I love that Amazon created these stair step three tier spice organizer. So basically they just look like this. It's just a plastic piece of, uh, it's a piece of plastic basically that is molded in a stair step. So basically what that means is that it gives you great access to whatever you put on these. So you can definitely add your spices and you can just really organize them so that you can see everything when you open your cabinet or your drawer. So these are amazing. I've actually featured these on my What I Did Right page, which is basically my Amazon store where you can shop all of my favorites. So that's just LonnieWasTheThird.com forward slash what I did right. And you can find all the things that I did right, all my favorite purchases, including this little spice organizer. I have two of these and I just put them side by side in my spice cabinet and it is just a game changer. I love these because the shelves are actually wide enough to fit some of the larger spices, like for instance, the Herbs of Providence that I was just talking about fits perfectly on here, whereas though some of the traditional spice organizers are a bit thinner and only created for like the smaller bottles. So this is a game changer. I definitely believe that these are under $10 each. So a great way to really up your organization game, to up your kitchen spice game, and just have everything at a view where you can pick it up so that you don't forget about any of those spices. The three shelf spice organizer from Amazon it is linked below all right so fave number three is actually great for those of you who have businesses or you just want to promote yourself whether you have a business or whether you just have a service 
or any way that you want to get the word out about yourself, the best way to do that is with business cards. So fave number three is actually Moo.com. So Moo.com is an online site where you can design really beautiful business cards and these business cards just are next level beautiful they are designed so well for me I chose to have images of my photography on one side and then on the other side I have my actual contact information not sure if you can see that but I love these they come on really high quality paper the paper is thick the paper has some depth to it. The paper just feels substantial. And the thing that I love about it is that they you can either create your own designs or they have really great, beautiful, sleek, minimal, or maximal, or fun designs. Whatever it is that you want, you can really play around. So for those of you who are creatives or aspiring creatives, I think that Moo.com is the best place to get your business cards from. They are a bit more expensive than, say, like some of the other sites where you get like a thousand for 99 cents but the quality reflects the value so I definitely think that Moo.com is a great 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 place for business cards so I wanted to shout them out and the thing I love about Moo.com is that uh, they actually come in this beautiful little case so this is like a little cardboard case that you can keep your business cards in if you want to travel with them put them in your briefcase put them in your backpack or whatever you can pull it out if you are in the market for business cards, check out Moo.com and definitely check out their business card selection because I really love mine. Lover. Fave number four is the Boardwalk Candy Store Salt Water Taffy. I actually did a partnership with Boardwalk this past few months and I was sent these and let me tell you, growing up in Maryland, there's a place called Ocean City and at Ocean City is where there's a boardwalk and where there's a boardwalk there is saltwater taffy. So when I received these, it just took me all the way back to my childhood, just being at the beach and just being able to just enjoy delicious saltwater taffy. I just feel like it just takes you all the way back to the beach, especially during these times where we can't really vacation the way we used to. This was just so nostalgic and also just such high quality. So if you're not familiar, saltwater taffy is this delicious, fruity, kind of chewy candy that is just um, a specialty item, I feel. And these are amazing because they come in all types of flavors. Let me read you the flavors. So the flavors are licorice, blue raspberry, Neapolitan, chocolate, orange and vanilla, pear, cinnamon, peppermint, huckleberry and banana. So there's a huge variety across the whole flavor spectrum for everyone in your family. Definitely check this out. I think that the Boardwalk Candy also makes a really great gift. You know, the holidays are coming up. So this box is beautifully designed. It is definitely a high quality box. It's great as a stocking stuffer. It's just great as an item to give someone, especially if they love candy, they're gonna love this. I think my favorite flavors are Neapolitan and the pear. And sometimes I love banana too, just depends on what mood I'm in. But definitely check out Boardwalk Candy Store on Instagram or their website to check out some of this delicious salt water taffy. That laffy taffy, ah, that taffy taffy, yeah. Okay, and fave number five is going to be this vertical laptop stand that I also got from Amazon. So. I work from home and just like many of you, I have more than one device. I have two MacBooks that I'm using and I noticed that when it's time for me to clean up my space, I couldn't really figure out what to do with my MacBooks. Like sometimes I would throw them into their case, um, you know, like the zipper pouch, but I just still felt like it was clunky and I felt like I wanted easy access to it, but I didn't necessarily want it laying flat. So when I went searching for a solution, I came across these vertical laptop stands. So what these do is that they hold your laptop up. It has this adjustable um, screws on the back, so you can definitely adjust it to the size or the width of your laptop and it holds your freaking laptop up vertically. Why this is so cool? One, it's easy access, you can grab and go. Two, it just looks a bit more sculptural and artistic, you know, like it just looks better sitting on your nightstand like this than it does like this. Another cool thing about it that I didn't really consider because I was really going uh, form over function, but this is good because it helps if something spills, like if you just have it laying flat, it may get damaged, but this kind of lifts it up off the table at least like a half an inch, so that's also something that's really good. You can purchase this at Amazon and I also have it on my What I Did Right store, so that's LonnieWizardThirt.com forward slash 
what I did right, or just click down below. All the product links are below so you can check out this laptop case. I think this, I'm sorry, this laptop stand. This is a great gift. This is one of those gifts that you don't know that you need until you receive it. So I would highly suggest this if you have a tech person in your world or just someone who works from home, uses their laptop a lot, definitely consider getting them something like this. This stand is amazing and it also just looks great around your home. People are going to wonder like, what's that? And you're like, oh, that's just my laptop. So that is fave number five, the vertical laptop stand. Everyone, that is it for this episode of Fave 5. I hope that you enjoyed everything that I got, items to your life. As always, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me at Lonnie Woods III. Make sure that you check out my website for lifestyle, fashion, food. That's LonnieWoodsIII.com. As always, I leave you in love, peace, and style. Until the next video, bye.